Hey everyone, David Chen. I just watched the Robert Zemeckis film Here, which is out in theaters right now, and I wanted to talk about it. So the movie Here tells the story of basically one, not even house, it's like a physical location. Uh, the camera stays fixed for pretty much the entire movie, and they basically just show what happens in this one location. So there's a house that's built, and then you see the various people that live in that house, and the lives that they live and all the tragedies and joys and heartbreaks that they experience. Uh, and it all takes place while the camera is fixed. The camera basically never moves around or anything like that, just from this one perspective. And I think the point of it is to give you a sense of the fullness of time, you know, to, to make you think about like, wow, in this one location on a long enough timeline, like so much stuff will happen. The dinosaurs will be here. Uh, people will get their hearts broken, people will get married, people will die, like all these things just happen at all these places everywhere around the planet. And this movie here is saying like, what if we just showed you one place? Like, what would that feel like? What would that look like? What would that sound like? I'm gonna say overall, I was a big fan of this film. I know not everyone likes it. You really need to be on this movie's wavelength to enjoy it, but for me, it really, really worked. Now, because this movie is all told from one perspective, it had to use a few tricks to try to keep the audience interested, right? Uh, one of the things it does is every single time, like the house changes time frames, uh, there is like really intricate set dressing and design, like there's tons of props and, you know, every single time period looks different and uh, the movie does a good job of differentiating them all from each other. Another thing the movie does is it will have these like little cutouts on screen that show you like what the different time periods look like next to each other. Um, and that was kind of an interesting visual trick to, to spice things up a little bit, uh, even though everything in the movie is told from one perspective. And finally, all the acting in the movie is pretty heightened. It's like these people are in a stage play, which they kind of are. It's like this little window you have is kind of like a stage and you're watching all these actors kind of be in a play. So people speak in a really heightened tone. They'll be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe that happened. You know, like they'll talk in like a really stilted way that is not very naturalistic. And you might find it distracting if that's not your thing, but I understood why they did it that way because like they need something on screen to make it more interesting than just this one perspective. So I really like what the film was going for. I feel like it did a pretty good job of like making you experience the fullness of a person's life within the course of a movie. I mean, that's just really compelling stuff. But there are a few things I wasn't as much of a fan of. Tonally, the movie's a little bit all over the place. Like there's multiple different time periods and like different people are in each time period and uh, the people have different storylines and not all the storylines are good. Uh, and so like sometimes you have a good storyline that you're interested in and sometimes it's like a weird one and sometimes it's a bad one. Um, so tonally, it's a little bit, jumbled, I think. And I think a lot of people find this movie to be really maudlin, like overly sentimental, um, because, you know, there's a lot of just like over the top emotions and feelings. Um, but I thought it was amazing. Uh, I was deeply moved by it. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I move out of a place and move to a new place, I get really emotional. You know, I always like look over the empty rooms and think about like all the memories I had there and all the stuff that's happened and how I was a different person when I moved in and how I'm a different person now and all the ways I've changed and all the ways the world has changed. And um, yeah, I, it, it really gets me in my thoughts and thinking about the nature of humanity and myself and all the stuff that's going on. And this movie brought all that out. It makes you think about the nature of existence itself and the significance that we assign to certain places and people and things. It's not the deepest film, it's not the most complex film, and there's a lot of people that won't be able to get over like the fundamental premise of we're experiencing this whole thing from one location, but I really liked it a lot. Tom Hanks and Robin Wright were wonderful in this movie. Uh, I think, honestly, one of my big issues with the movie is that uh, there wasn't more of them. Like There were all these other plots and all these other people that we had to meet, and I, honestly, if the movie had just focused on them, I think it would have been a better film just because they're such tremendous actors. But putting all those qualms aside, I really liked Robert Zemeckis' here. Uh, just a really interesting concept, really thought provoking and really moving and powerful. So I had a great time. So I value this movie. I'm gonna be thinking about it for a while and maybe you will too. Anyway, 
Hope you enjoyed this walking vlog where I talk about my thoughts on the movie while walking out of the theater. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons at patreon.com slash Dave Chen for supporting my work and see you in the next one.